It takes a special someone to end up in bed with Drake, so here's the story of Bobby Altoff, who's gone viral for exactly that reason. Like many comedians, Bobby Altoff started posting fun videos on TikTok to gain some exposure. She shared her very first one in April 2021 and has posted fairly consistently ever since. She's since managed to grow her following to an impressive 6 million and she's amassed well over 190 million likes. Since launching herself on the platform, Altaf has shared a variety of different content, including funny videos about her kids. One memorable clip of her holding her newborn baby from July 2022 features the caption, when the hospital just lets you leave with a living, breathing, brand new human you are responsible for. Altaf eventually shifted her focus on TikTok. Instead of sharing content that she created specifically for the app, she now generally posts clips of interviews from her podcast. After months of making TikToks, Bobby Oldhoff decided that she needed a change. As she explained to Cosmopolitan in August 2023, I was burnt out from being on my own. I wanted to collaborate with other people, and I was trying to figure out how to make my TikTok page more of a career. Altoff was inspired by a video from TikTok star Jenna Palick, who started the Fun on Weekdays podcast, and the rest is pretty much history. Altoff's first podcast guest was comedian and actor Colleen Ballinger. The episode was released on YouTube, though it's since been deleted. Altoff posted a clip of the interview on Instagram and received some very mixed feedback. One person commented, Trolling is such a disgusting behavior of this new era. All these videos are cringy AF. Not funny. Not cute. Simply toxic. However, another commenter had a rather different take by declaring, If people don't think her sense of humor is funny, something's wrong with you. I can't stop laughing. It's worth noting at this point that Altaf is playing a character in her podcast interviews. As she explained to Cosmopolitan, I'm not trying to uncover anything. It's just a conversation. It's really a parody of a good interview. Whose podcast is this? I don't know. On her podcast, Altaf adopts a rather monotone delivery, which has caught some of her guests off guard. When she sat down with Pretty Little Liars star Tamin Sursok, she kicked things off with quite a punch. So you're on a show called Pretty Little Liars. Mm -hmm. Was the lie that you were pretty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Sursok played into the joke and it made for a great segment. It's generally clear that Altoff's guests are either in on the joke or incredibly uncomfortable with her style, perhaps a little of both. When she was chatting with Drake, she asked him flat out about how much money he had, and he replied, a significant amount. And when she asked him if he could afford to buy her a Lamborghini and not even think about it, he simply said, yeah. And during her interview with the rapper Tiger, Altoff decided to troll him when he used a battery-operated fan to cool himself down. She stared at him blankly, and the two shared a moment that was undoubtedly more awkward for him than it was for her. As for Bobby Altoff's personal life, she has a husband named Corey Altoff. According to his LinkedIn profile, he's the senior vice president of software development programs at the Computing Technology Industry Association. He got a bachelor's degree in political science from Clemson University and then began his career as a software engineer. He took some time off from the corporate world to publish two books before jumping back in with a role at Vonage. This was around the same time that his wife started gaining some serious TikTok cred. Bobby doesn't share much about her marriage with her fans, although Corey has made a handful of appearances on her Instagram and her TikTok. And during her interview with Cosmopolitan, she declined to answer questions about him. As she noted, I prefer to keep my relationship private. When she's not making her podcast guests uncomfortable in the most amusing ways, Bobby Altoff lives a pretty low-key, normal life. She and her husband are raising two daughters, though neither of them shares much about their kids online. Bobby refers to the girls as H&R on Instagram, and the younger of the two was born in June 2022. As she wrote on TikTok shortly after giving birth, Thank you so much everyone, baby girl H is doing amazing, soaking in all of the newborn cuddles right now. Bobby also refers to her kids as Concrete and Richard on social media to protect their privacy, though she still sometimes makes TikTok videos about them. In her interview with Cosmopolitan, she revealed the reason that she removed all details about her older daughter from social media. As she explained, I was getting really overwhelmed. People can just be so mean on the internet, and one night I was like, I'm done. This is my daughter. It's my job as her mum to protect her, and I no longer felt like it was the right decision. So one night, I scrubbed everything. There have been some rumours floating around that Bobby Oldhoff is a Nepo baby, but she'll be the first to tell you that that is nowhere near the truth. As she explained to Cosmopolitan, I could not be further from someone with connections and with money. 
People are like, her dad had connections with Snoop Dogg. My dad was a handyman. While Althoff's dad wasn't exactly in Snoop's entourage, he did once do contract work at the rapper's house. Um, my dad did work on Snoop Dogg's house. Althoff further elaborated about her family's financial situation by revealing, I was so embarrassed of how broke my family was growing up. In high school, everyone had nice cars, and my family's cars were always getting repossessed. I rarely got to get a yearbook because that $50 was too expensive for us. There have also been rumors that Althoff is an industry plant, and those aren't quite right either. In July 2023, she had some fun with the rumors by posting a TikTok of herself dancing to Barbie World by Nicki Minaj and I Spice, complete with the caption, celebrating because the industry planted me. Althoff may now be on the path to setting herself up for financial success, but she says that the money hasn't started pouring in just yet. In an August 2023 interview on the BFF's podcast, she admitted that she's actually in debt and still paying for her work-related expenses. Althoff has taken quite the initiative to land some pretty big names for her interviews. And if you're wondering how she's done it, well, it's quite simple. She slid into their DMs. As she admitted to Cosmopolitan, I DM'd Drake and asked if he wanted to be on my podcast, and he said yes. I always hit you back. Althoff also did the same thing with Lil Yatty. Her interview with Drake proceeded to go spectacularly viral as it garnered about 10 million views on YouTube. However, it's since been removed from all major platforms. Moreover, some fans have noticed that Althoff and Drake are no longer following each other on social media. To certain observers, that can only mean one thing, a feud. Interestingly, this all transpired after Althoff attended Drake's It's All A Blur tour at the Kia Forum in Inglewood, California. And then she posted a TikTok of herself looking completely unimpressed and unbothered in a crowded concert audience as Drake could be heard rapping in the background, along with the caption, really in my element here at this guy's concert. Neither Althoff nor Drake has directly addressed these rumors, so it's unclear exactly what's going on here. We may never know for sure if Bobby Althoff is actually a fan of Drake, or anyone else who appears on her podcast for that matter. But there does appear to be at least one famous person that she generally likes, and that would be Canadian crooner Michael Bublé. As she captioned a TikTok from May 2022, This weekend, I flew to Resort World Las Vegas to meet the love of my life. In the video, a pregnant Althoff approaches the singer while wearing a shirt with his name on it and asks him for his autograph. But she didn't want him to sign something typical, like her shirt or a tour book, or even her baby bump. Instead, she asked Bublé to sign her toe. In another TikTok from the same encounter, Althoff told Bublé that she's his biggest fan, while fumbling her words a bit. He didn't miss a beat though, as he grabbed a sharpie and indeed signed his name on her foot. When he was done, she asked if she could keep the pen. She also captioned the video, Michael Bublé, so happy I paid $1 million for this meet and greet. Thanks for letting me steal your pen. There's no word on whether or not Althoff will try to book Bublé for an upcoming podcast episode, but we have to think that that would be pretty hilarious. Bobby Althoff may seem like she has her life all put together, but it's not always an easy go for her. In her interview with Cosmopolitan, she opened up about her struggle with depression, which started when she was young. As she revealed, I had such a bad childhood, I desperately wanted to grow up. I thought it might never happen. I was suicidal in high school, and I tried to kill myself. I was actually really angry that I survived. As someone who struggles with depression, my kids are my reason to live. There are times when I think that if I didn't have my kids, I wouldn't be here. Althoff has also experienced postpartum depression and has been about that struggle online, including a few videos of her post-baby body on TikTok. In December 2022, she uploaded a TikTok about her uneven breasts and captioned it with some of the mean things that people have said to her about her body. And two months earlier, she shared a TikTok about some of the feelings she'd been having after giving birth to her second daughter. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat at 988lifeline.org.